Do you know the past of the nation of Scotland? When the state became proud and invaded the church to try to impose its views on the people? Their choice? Obey men. God? Not so much. What do Christians do when faced with oppression from those whom Satan has wiled and enticed to plot and to plan to remove all their freedoms? To honour the true king, you can't deny Christ. They waited and trusted his plans and his word. His instructions don't change and his justice demands he punishes wickedness in the rebel duet of a pride-blinded church and a sin-blinded land. So when morals dance, just to public opinion, when times and laws change because of the need to tolerate all, except if you're Christian, the church must find courage to restore her creed. Oh, what would we give for a third reformation? For the strength to apply the full force of his word. And though it be folly in man's estimation, Scotland may turn when the gospel is heard. May God grant repentance and heal our divisions, restore his son's bride, for his love is steadfast, that we might declare his praise to our nation. The key to the future is knowing the past.